what made you not not the book but what made you not speak out before why weren't you speaking out before uh, was it you were handling these things in personally in your day to day life and you thought it was not your business or what why yeah because i don't live it you see okay. I, I was just taking a selfish viewpoint you know shiram i was taking us this selfish viewpoint that this thing is just something i'm experiencing for a few months when i'm away from home and when i go back home i don't live that experience so i just go back home i'm i'm happy and contented where i am and to be honest although it was a selfish view and it's perhaps something that i should not have done if you look at history it will show you that initially yes selfish but in the long run it was the wise thing to do because mm. if you look at the all the black people and people of color that have hit out against racism and made a stand their careers ended in no time at all and we don't even have to go back too far because the most prominent in my mind were um john carlos and and louis in mexico those are the most prominent in my mind but if you look at recent occurrences look at colin capoli i have him on the cover of the book as a matter of fact because he's a, the man in recent time that took that stand his career came to an end immediately at the end of that season his career came to an end so that just shows you mm. that when black people and people of color decide that they are being victimized and they want to talk up about it they want to complain about it they want to protest about it the system the institutional racism that is evident around the world locks you out and you basically are dispelled from society and perhaps that would have happened to me if i had said anything earlier do you think how hopeful are you that in the long run that is possible it's not an easy read for anyone shri mm. ram tells you that he read certain chapters that were hard hard for yeah. him to read my sister found it difficult to read certain chapters as well as a matter of fact she told me she wasn't going to read certain chapters that that i had i had in the book so it is a hard read but at the same time it had to be a hard read because unless you recognize why you are sick you can't cure yourself and that is what i'm trying to do and when i say why you are sick and yourself i'm talking about the world i'm not talking about white people or black people i'm talking about the world the world is sick and we need to cure ourselves now until we can identify why we are sick it's going to be difficult for us to cure ourselves but i know that it is possible i know that people are waking up when i did a program recently a few days ago on good morning britain and spoke about it a gentleman and his wife in my community in my area a neighbor slipped a note through my letter box as a matter of fact i have it here a white english couple and they slipped a note slip letter with my name on it and this i'll read it to you i won't call the name but i'll read it to you it says dear michael just saw your interview on gmb which is good morning breakfast so very passionate and empowered very eloquently said it has certainly opened my our eyes thank you very much signed by the, 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 the couple i won't call the name so i know it is reaching people and i know that there is a chance of things getting better 